The day Canadian Tesla owners have been waiting for has finally arrived. The FSD beta has landed and will be on Canadian roads very soon. Over the last four weeks, Elon has made several promises on Twitter that the FSD beta would come to Canada in February. As promised, Elon delivered the infamous button to a very limited number of vehicles in the early morning hours of February 26th. Now, only about 30% of FSD owners received this update. The rest of us, including myself, were left wondering, when is it going to happen? So this week's video was to be what to expect if you didn't get the update. Well, as February dwindled down to the only a few hours left, Elon delivered again, and it appears the update has rolled out to everyone with FSD. So now, we're going to talk about the all-important safety score. Before I get into it though, please help the channel grow and subscribe. So once you download update 22.4.5.4, and go to the autopilot menu, you'll see right at the top the request FSD beta button. Once you hit that, you'll need to agree to a few terms and you're in. Well, not quite. Your driving will now be graded and given the Tesla safety score. The score looks at driving metrics such as forward collision warnings, hard braking, aggressive turning, unsafe following, and forced autopilot disengagements. Now, the merits of the safety score has been discussed at length since it's been out in the States for a while. It doesn't really do a good job of assessing a safe driver, and the score can easily be skewed. But anyways, that's what Tesla is doing, so we're going to have to learn to live with it. But let me show you how you can try to get a perfect score. So the best way to get your perfect score is to go out late at night with no other cars around, pick a deserted highway, leave autopilot on, and drive 460 kilometers. Then come home, park your car, wait until you get the beta. Now, unfortunately, most of us can't do that. So here's my tips on how to get a perfect score. So first off, use autopilot whenever possible. And I mean, always. I can't stress this enough. You can't get dinged for anything while AP is on. And make sure your hands are on the wheel so you don't get a forced disengagement. Now, the most common culprit behind low scores are from poor collision warnings and unsafe following. So do your best to avoid traffic and keep your distance. If you're keeping your distance, and may I add, you should always keep your distance. It's just be about being a safe driver, right? The more space you have in front of the less chances of a warning, and you'll have plenty of time to react to anything in front of you without slamming on the brakes, which will then lead to a low score. If you'd ever take a uh, defensive driving school course, the first thing they teach you is eye lead. You don't want to look at the car directly in front of you. You want to look at three or four cars down the road. And on the highway, that's even further, just as far as the eye can see. Because what happens is if you're looking four cars down, that car breaks, then the car behind them breaks, and the car behind them breaks, then the car in front of you breaks. Well, if you're looking four cars down, you'll have a plenty of warning to brake. So you don't have to slam on your brakes. You can just come to a start slowing down and react to what's in front of you. So you also want to be very smooth on your turns and your braking. Even regen can give a uh, aggressive braking signal. So you want to be smooth and feather on that accelerator. I don't know if you guys remember a while back, a show in Canada called Canada's Worst Driver. One of the exercises they did was they put a giant tub of water on your roof with an open sunroof. Now, if the person was driving and they were jerky, what would happen? The water would slosh back and forth and get you soaked. So picture there's a big tub of water. You want to keep that water nice and level. So you want to be smooth in your turns, smooth on your braking and accelerating. And that will give a good score. So follow those tips for 160 kilometers, and you may get yourself a perfect score. Now keep in mind, just because you got 100, doesn't mean you'll get the beta. And as of yet, we don't know exactly when the beta in Canada will roll out. And the US is about a week and a half after the initial button release. But some US users have been waiting for months for it. So cross your fingers. All right, that's it for now. Let me know in the comments if you did get this update, and what are your thoughts on this rollout, and show me your scores. Anyways, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and support the channel and subscribe. It'll help me out a lot. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week. Beta has landed and will be on Canadian roads very soon. Soon. Beta has landed and will be on Canadian roads very soon. Roads. Roads. The region can give a uh, breaking situation. 
driving on the highway and you're looking three cars down, that car three down or down, because hmm. what happens is if the car three, three cars ahead, what you want to do is look at cars three doors, th three doors, three doors down. It's a good band. So if you're driving, if you're looking, ah, all right. So that's it for now. Let me know in the comments if you did do get, you'll get a four collision warning, even though the car in front of you is turning off and going into the road next to you. So, so just keep yourself, give yourself on that brake.